guys. Um, I decided to make a meatloaf this evening. And so I'm just getting home from church and I have a lot of unpacking to do. But I'm going to put this meatloaf together and I'm going to use ingredients that I don't normally use. And so um, a lot of times when I do this, I don't remember exactly what I did. So that's the purpose of uh, me filming this right now. The kitchen's not in, um, you know, finished condition, but uh, I do want to cook and I don't want to have to eat out again. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you what the ingredients are. I'm going to put this together real quick and then I'm going to throw it in the oven and then I'm going to get back to unpacking and reorganizing this house. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay friends, I'm back and I'm going to put this meatloaf together. I started off with about uh, 10 slices of bread that I cut into cubes, not too small. Um, I like to see the bread in the meatloaf when I make it. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just um, conjuring up a dish. And usually when I do this, I will always think I'm going to remember the ingredients that I use and I end up forgetting. So this time I said, you know, let me just do this in a video. Uh, it's not fancy or anything. I'm not doing anything elaborate. But I just want to remember, so if I really like the dish, or if my family really loves the dish, then I can do it again. All right, so I'm using um, the New York Texas Toast Croutons. Cheese and garlic, this is my favorite. I use these as snacks. I've got a garbage can below me. So that's going to make it easy. So I'm going to start with, one moment, okay, so I'm going to start with the breadcrumbs and um, I'm going to add the croutons whole. If I had all my tools, I would put it in my wooden uh, bowl and, and minch it or use like a um, coffee grinder but I don't have any of that stuff accessible and as far as seasoning I just have sea salt pepper and onion powder in here because I, I don't like onions I don't like to really taste the whole onions in my meatloaf so I'm adding that to this because if I don't add a little salt the meatloaf is not going to taste as good All right, so I'm adding that in here. I'm going to mix it so it, um, there's no area in this seasoning where it's too much of any seasoning. There's no place in the mixture where there's too much seasoning. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so I'm just going to start adding everything to this. All right, I have three eggs. Okay, I've got the sink right here. Put that in there. I'm gonna add some garlic. The juice would be fine. I'm going to add some sour cream and I'm going to use the whole thing so it's okay. Let me just pour out some of this liquid. Okay. I'm going to use the whole thing so it's okay for me to dip this um, spatula in here. Sofrito. I love to use this seasoning. Okay, so I've got some left. And I'm going to add the regato. I'm going to add all of that. Okay, I'm going to add a little um, 
Louisiana um, red hot pepper. I'm going to add some ketchup. And I'm going to add a can of carnation, not carnation, evaporated milk. This is not the carnation brand. Although I, I use carnation milk, but I usually get whatever's on sale. And unless I want to use specific, a specific milk, like carnation, then I'll buy that. Otherwise, I can use the ShopRite brand. That's usually where I shop. Okay. I'm mixing all of this together. It looks good. I'm not going to taste it. It's raw. I don't do that. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the ground beef. soak in here. I'm going to let it marinate. So I'm going to let it marinate in this mixture once I mix it up really well. And then I'm going to sit it in the fridge. I'm going to cover it first. I'm using this because no, I still haven't unpacked everything because I didn't want the house to be in a mess and I wanted to secure all the areas like my storage areas. I wanted to finish the cabinets and uh, make it so that every, so that when I unpack and I put things where they belong that I didn't have to then take it out again and, and, and do it over, fix it up. So I'm actually uh, organizing and decorating at the same time. Oh, this looks exciting. This really does look exciting. My husband loves tomato sauce based at, in his meatloaf. I like gravy. So I'll be doing the uh, tomato sauce base for this meatloaf. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the oven. I mean, not in the oven. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour and then I'm going to take it out and finish molding it, putting it in a dish. Maybe by that time I'll have a dish to put it in. Otherwise I'm going to use a cookie sheet. And that'll be fine too. Okay, so um, I think it's going to come out pretty good. All right, so that's it for now. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay? See you soon. Okay, so I just took this out the fridge, and it has absorbed a lot. I'm going to put my gloves on so I can get this mixed together. Get my gloves. I've got some very lively neighbors next door. They're so much fun. The kids are always in the pool. I guess they're getting all of their um, use out of this warm weather before they can't use the pool anymore for the year. Okay. 
So now let me uh, dive in. Okay, so I'm going to use this pan. Let me show it to you. I'm going to use this, okay, for the meatloaf. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so you can see what I'm doing. I guess this is okay. I can even set this in the sink. Okay. Hmm, yeah, I'll do that. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. Okay. Okay, I could tell that this is going to be a very tender and moist meatloaf. Now notice that I'm stacking it high first because it's very, very loose and I want to keep it together. Okay, so let me start molding it. I can smell all of the ingredients that I put in here. Okay, now I'm just going to press on it. I like it uh, kind of oblong. Uh, by putting it in this baking dish, it gets to drain. You know, the oils get to drain out of it. Because I'm making my own sauce. And so I don't want to taste the oils that's going to, uh, you know, come out of this mixture. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to show you what the sauce looks like um, as I put it together and put it on the stove. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the oven as it's cooking. Oh my goodness, it smells scrumptious. It's cooking well. And I'm learning this oven temperature. I had it at 350 and I had to turn it down to 325 but it looks good. It's cooking in its own juices and I don't even have to base it. Alright, I'll let you see what's going on with the saucepan. Okay, so right now I'm going to make a sauce and I am going to add a little butter. This is salted butter for flavor. So I get to use a piece that's left over. Okay, and I'm not going to let this um, brown or dry out. I'm going to add oil to that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute the mushrooms and the onions in this. Turn. The temperature is on low, but once this stops frying a little bit, because I do want to saute it, I'm going to turn it up because I don't want it to sweat out out from burning myself. Okay, so I'm going to add the mushrooms in first. Slow down here. I have been rushing. Try 
try not to get the onions in it just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm avoiding putting the onions in just yet. Okay. Mm, let me do that again because I shouldn't be passing in front of the camera. Okay. Okay, this is my iron skillet. I love to use this iron skillet. But I would love to be able to put my hand on one of my regular pots so I could put a top on this, but I can't. Again, things are not unpacked. You know, we, when we moved out, we really had to uh, step on the gas and rush things out in a hurry. We had that uh, water and mold problem, and the whole house was smelling like mold. In some areas, it was almost suffocating. Okay, so I'm going to turn it up because uh, mm -hmm. I don't want it to steam. I want it to continue frying. And I'm going to switch it over. I'm still learning the stove. I'm learning how the temperature heats. I see that the oven is very, very hot. And so I've had to adjust it, the temperature. Okay. Okay, so it is sweating out. And uh, I guess the liquid is okay. You know, like I said, I have to learn this stove. You know, once I start cooking more on it, like today, you know, I'll be able to uh, adjust it better. Alright, so this is uh, oregano, and I like to buy the fresh oregano in a package like this when it's marked down. And so when it's, you know, when the date is aging, even though, as you see, it doesn't look bad at all, uh, they mark it down half price. So this is usually 99 cents, so now it's 49 cents when I purchased it. And it's not like I use a whole lot of it at one time, so this is fine. So while it's sweating out, I'm going to add some fresh oregano into this sauce. Okay. Add a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to add the onions to the salsa. So it's on high, and the liquid is beginning to absorb, absorb. Let's see, what else can I put in here? Okay, I'm going to add some more garlic. Oh, it smells so good. This smells so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's delicious. I'm going to add uh, some sofrito. I'm going to add the rest of this in here. Okay. 
So this is going to be the perfect marriage to this meatloaf. Okay, now I'm going to add this fresh mozzarella. This is, um, I'm going to add the sauce. Okay, it's sun-dried tomato and parsley. Okay, look at that. I'm not going to add the mozzarella balls to it, but I'm going to add some of this seasoning because I kind of want this taste. So, let me turn it, stir it a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see it. Okay, so I adjusted it a bit. Now I'm going to add some of this. There's oil in here. There's sun-dried tomatoes. And there's parsley. Okay. Add some of this in here. Look at that. And there's fresh parsley in there. To this. Now, doesn't that look good? Okay, it's olive oil. Okay, now I'm going to add one can of this. I'm going to use the uh, Tuta Russo crushed tomatoes. One can of crushed tomatoes. So, I don't know if I'm going to turn the camera, but I'm going to turn this up again because I did turn it down. And I'm going to add the crushed tomatoes to this. I'm going to loosen this sauce up by adding some water. I'm going to add about a cup of water, but I'm not going to add it just yet because I'm going to check on the, the uh, texture. I'm going to see how, it, how it's absorbing, and then I'll determine how much water I want to add to it because I know what I want this sauce to look like. It's going to start popping, so I'm going to turn it down. And like I said, I don't have a top right now. And now, you know what else I didn't put in here that I'm going to put in here? I'm going to have to clean the stove because it is popping. I'm going to put some fresh basil in here because I brought a basil plant yesterday. fresh basil in my kitchen. You see that? I love the smell of basil. Okay. I'm going to add this. I'm going to add it whole. That's okay. And then I'm going to add some water to it. Okay, 
So now what I'm thinking about doing, because I don't have a top for this and I do have a top for a microwavable dish, I am going to put this in the microwave. Oops. Let me put this in the microwave. Okay, because I'm not even using the um, spatula that I would usually use. Let me add a little bit more water. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add a little more water. I like it nice and loose. I don't like my sauces thick. Okay. I'm going to put it in the microwave, let it cook down and reduce, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm making uh, chopped spinach on the stove. It would be in the microwave because it's microwavable, the whole bag. But because I'm using the microwave right now for my sauce, I figure I just put this in here. I'm not going to make a lot because my 15 year old recently went vegetarian and she's really giving us a hard time about food because she is refusing to eat meat. So she said, well, the meatloaf looks good and I would have been having some if I wasn't a vegetarian. So that wasn't a nice joke. She was serious. Alright, so, uh, I'm going to add more butter because I need more flavor. I'm just going to make three bags, but I'm just use the two. Put this back in the freezer. Okay, I'm going to turn this up. And I'm going to add some water to it. And I'm going to add a little salt. And add some sea salt. Oh, you've seen that fall out of the cabinet, didn't you? Well, like I said, things aren't organized yet. And you will get to see what it looks like when it is. Okay, now I didn't plan to make spinach tonight. I was going to do a tossed salad, but 
I'm kind of all over the place this evening because I'm working downstairs with my hubby. And um, I would have seasoned this with some neck rings. So I'll do that another time with some fresh spinach. Alright, the holidays are coming up, so I'm going to do a lot of cooking, so you're going to see uh, me in the kitchen a lot. Okay. I'll be back. I'll let this reduce. It's got to tenderize, and I'll go check on the sauce. Okay, because this is a quickie meal, I'm making this, uh, let me see if I can get it right. I'm sorry. I'm making this frozen long grain rice. Okay, I'm just doing two 12 ounce bags of this to go with this meal. Okay, because I gotta get dinner over with so I can finish unpacking. All right, so the spinach is almost done. Uh, it's not too salty, it's just right. I didn't want it to have any other flavors other than the flavor of the spinach because I have the sauce that's flavorful and the meatloaf that's gonna be divine. So let me get the um, pot holder, okay, because it is hot. Okay, so this is what the sauce looks like. Okay, like I said, my husband loves the uh, tomato-based sauce. I love the gravies. So I like to uh, play around with that. Can you hear that? My daughter, who uh, my 16-year-old, who just turned vegetarian just about a month now, said that is a huge meatloaf. You know, uh, I love the fact that it's not sitting in the oils like it would normally do if I had it in another pan. So the oils are dripping into the pan underneath, and uh, it is self-basing. So um, I'm going to check it and see how tender it is because I don't want it to dry out and then I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like because we're going to start eating in a little bit okay ciao okay so this is tonight's dinner Now that the table's set, let me start dishing this out. Okay, I've dished out the meatloaf and I already started serving. Uh, we're having it with um, the frozen rice that are steam in a bag rice. And um, I had my husband taste the meatloaf and he walked away and he came back and he said, The meatloaf is excellent. I hope you wrote down the recipe. <laughs> so I did it. It's on film, okay? So now all I have to do is watch the video. All right, so I hope you try this, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear how yours turned out, okay? Bye for now. Ciao.